<laughs> All right, we ready for this? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is incredible! Mike, I got a yeah. challenge for you. Okay. I want you to make this fly. You can't terrorize dad anymore, so you're terrorizing me is what's happening. Yeah, dad's too busy, so I'm making you now build all the uh, the funky stuff. All right, and is it drawn out of the question? Yeah, that, that's too easy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to basically make a plane that I can hover for a long period of time, and you make hoops on it without knocking me out of the sky. Yeah. Got it, easy. all right, so easy. I, I think that we should unbox it though and play with it for a little while. <laughs> I'm gonna play with it. <laughs> the guys are out, so uh, we're gonna have some fun. Wouldn't that be bad if I missed? <laughs> <laughs> Not today! I'm good at flying, I ain't good at bad school. Mike, why have we been playing? Uh, have you gotten any ideas? Uh, none that came to my head yet, but in order for me to keep it hovering and just be able to stay stable, it's gonna have to have some sort of good control service, a good amount of thrust, because I mean, I'm gonna be hanging off the prop for a minute, so I wanna have more than I need. None, 100% yet, but I think I might have one coming. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, oh, there you go. What are you guys doing? Uh, what are you guys doing? Hot That's how you practice with the Oh, bird. boy. Oh, oh. He moved it just as I was getting ready to hit. Did you see that? <laughs> I saw that. Yep. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're too old for that. <laughs> I'm watching out for the props. I'm laughing too much now. <laughs> so, so do you think we'll be able to make it fly and actually uh, make a hoop? I think we can make it fly. Making a hoop? I don't think we got the skills. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So thought process, last time I made something that was vertically standing fly, it was the flying ladder, so I think I'm gonna do a very similar process to that. Do like kind of a canard style, same size wing to uh, front to back. Just hope it works. Maybe put an order board on this so I can try to keep it a little more stable so they can do that, hopefully. But other than that, i just gonna start sticking stuff places and see how it looks. I wanna see how we're looking. So I got the like spar holders in. The uh, basketball hoop rather than just relying on this little blue plastic. I 3D printed sleeves. We have the 3D printed inserts in here as well, so it just slides on and then goes basically in the spar. So I think I'll give it a shot. I have not test fit this at all yet. It's kind of funny. You never, never really thought that you'd be seeing a flying basketball hoop. Yeah, no, it's definitely not something you would uh, picture how to do in your head before you go to try to do it. <laughs> Looks pretty good though. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. The wings don't look straight, which could be a problem. Looks straight enough. Yeah, we're fine. It'll be okay. You'll have differential thrust. Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> Does it kind of look like a ladder? Like the flying ladder a little bit? Not at all. Not, no. I, I don't think you took any inspiration no. from the ladder plane. I mean, it's hard. You guys gave me two vertically standing things back to back. No, it's it very much a ladder plane. But that's okay because the ladder plane flew really well. You know what I mean? So you would assume that this could also fly really well. Well done. Yeah, I just gotta make this not happen too. So like, I'm not flying. It's like, oh yeah, and that just goes. You get it now. That's cool though. That could be part two. But it can't go any lower than that because my spar yeah, rate. Spar is yeah. <laughs> I like it. Dude. Because that, that's just how you're gonna adjust the CG, right? Sure. So Mike is getting really close to getting this flying basketball hoop done. 
but it's getting close to the end of the day, so I think we're gonna finish it up tomorrow. Now Haley just called me with a very common question that we get all the time, what's for dinner? Now for once, I actually have the answer to that question, and that's actually every plate. Now if you guys never heard of every plate, they are the number one most affordable meal delivery service. Essentially where they prepackage all the ingredients that you need and send it straight to your doorstep. The nice thing about these meals, they are perfectly portioned, minimal prep time, and cook time. And every one of their plates is absolutely delicious. Now tonight, we are making chicken. But not any chicken, we're making curry marinated chicken over some lime rice. Now every week you get to pick from 30 different rotating recipes. And every one of those recipes is six easy steps in about 30 minutes. And what really sold me on every plate is each one of their meals is $7. The only ones that are more than that is their exclusive offers. Now I can't wait to cook this with my wife tonight. What she doesn't know is I've actually tasted this before and it was absolutely delicious. The flavors of the ginger and the garlic and the lime were just amazing. Now every plate has delicious meals that truly make your life easier. Try it by using our code FLIGHTTESTYT50 at everyplate.com for $50 off your first box and 10% off for a month. That's flight test YT50 at everyplate.com. Now I hope you guys go out, use our coupon code to get 50% off. That is huge. I'm gonna grab all the stuff I need, go home and cook this amazing meal with my wife. We're getting close to flying? We are. So because I got all the wings on and everything and I got all the worldly weight, all I have left is a receiver and batteries. So obviously I wanna know where I wanna place the batteries, so I need to check CG. My initial thought was that base is ugly and it's gonna make weird characteristics. So what I did was make it so it comes out easy. So I could set it up like this, I could take off, hover around, and then call it today. But what I didn't think of is how heavy this backboard was. Right now it is extremely nose heavy. If I put these all the way in the very end, it still is nose heavy, which is not good for trying to hover. Where, where do you think CG should be? I think it's a little more forward than I had it. Not right here. But that base is, I think, going to be attached. Because flying a tail heavy plane, actually, hovering a tail heavy plane is actually almost easier. It's so funny because what have I said since like, like this began? Tail fly heavy planes fly once, and these two always prove me wrong. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> you guys are weird. I would start here. And I, th I think you'll have all the tail weight you want. So uh, Mike put me on uh, the job that I probably hate most is the control horns because I think he hates it more than I do. But what I'm gonna do is I actually went up and I grabbed our carbon fiber control horns. Now we order these things from PC Way. This is kind of a staple that we always order from them. We've done so many different projects with PCB Way. Everything from obviously carbon fiber to PCB boards. Now if you guys have any ideas or even you don't have the tools but you have the idea and you have the drawings, you can send it off to them. You can actually order it. They'll ship it to you within a week or two. And guess what? They'll be right on your doorstep. So we're gonna put these carbon fiber control horns in uh, for two reasons. Uh, they are awesome and they are super strong. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be true, but I think we're gonna crash them a lot. So I wanna make sure that our control surfaces uh, stay in place. So uh, I'm gonna put these carbon fiber control horns in. So go check out PCB Way to make your ideas a reality. All right, so I got the basketball hoop finished up and I did something a little special with the vertical fins. I didn't want to just smash some fins on it and call it a day because then it's like not as basketball-y. So the, ba the vertical fins are actually basketballs, which is pretty cool. But everything else is done. We just got to get CG set. And then there's one little thing that changed. The other chase pilot we have here, Chadwick, isn't in today. So I'm chasing and I'm putting the plan of flying in. Billy. Thanks. He swears I fabricated this, but I did not. How the turn tables have turned. Yes, they have. But well, he is weirdly good at flying weird things. Like he had this little GB he had me fly. I could barely keep it in a circle because it was just weird. And I mean, he was doing rolling circles with it. So I don't have a single doubt in my mind that he won't be able to keep this in the air. Well, there's only one way to find out. We actually have to put it in the air. I believe in you. <laughs> so, Pops, are you going to be uh, one of the people shooting the hoops? I'm going to be an athlete. 
That's why I fly. Shoot, it's good as me. <laughs> Ready? Billy might need to do a little assistance with uh, getting the ball to the hoop there. You should make the backboard a lot bigger. <laughs> well, this is the thing, is I'm also recruiting Haley, which was actually a, a basketball player back in high school. So, if you guys can't make a basket, hopefully she can. Can she hit a moving target though? Because it's not stationary. So, uh, we're going to uh, get the batteries charged up and uh, the guys are going to get some practice. And um, then we're going to go out to the runway and uh, hopefully Billy can hold this thing steady. I believe in you, Billy. So I think Billy's going to take it out, do some uh, village of how it flies. All of our crap is right, so everything's going the right way. We check that. And then he's going to pull it into a hover and the people are going to start chucking basketballs at him. At the plane, not me. It'd <laughs> be fun either way. That could be fun too. Yeah. Maybe that's that's round, is that round two? <laughs> how well can he Worst fly case like scenario. Pelted? Love that. So they can't make a basketball hoop. I think they just turn and start chucking my belly. Yep. Mm. It's his fault anyways, right? Yep. <laughs> right. Now, none of us are really athletic, but luckily Noah's wife, Haley, is. Yeah. So we're probably just going to spend most of our time giving her the balls to throw in the hoop. Because <laughs> our goal is to get at least one ball for the hoop. Yeah, and it's extremely windy, so Billy, you've got uh, quite a challenge on your hands. I sure do. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, do it. let's do it. Good luck, sirs. Woo! Cool. All right, we ready for this? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's off. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's pull down elevator. Why is it? Uh, no. Something weird's going on with it. It's it's good going into the wind. It's pull down elevator. Oh. Landing. I'll get the hot glue. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Hey, you know, I, you know, I, the good news is, I think all you need to do is keep the batteries pulling. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it was just very tail heavy. That that looked pretty sketchy. I think we picked the right pilot though. Lots of down elevator. I'm happy I didn't have to deal with that. <laughs> so Billy, uh, what's the uh, verdict? Um, it flies well, barely. We're gonna have to do a little bit of weight shifting. But I think this is going to be doable. It's just going to be a little bit of, a little bit of work. All right. So in assessment of the basketball plane, we have a little bit of crinklage here on the ting tong, and then we've got three motors that are currently no longer connected, and yeah, some some electronics that are kind of floppy. Well, I say we uh, take it back over here. Josh went in to grab the glue gun. Let's get it put back together. Try round two. What do you think, Billy? Let's do it. Yeah. With a Y. Beat up, All right. I like today a lot better than yesterday. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot less wind. Yeah. Sun's out. It's beautiful. Yeah. Early morning. And Billy, you and Michael repaired it. What did you guys have to do? A lot. No, it wasn't that bad. We had to glue the wings back on. Right. Uh, we had a motor mount that was broke. Um, we ended up building, re just rebuilding one wing. Yeah. Hopefully at this point, it's gonna be a little bit more nose heavy, okay. so it won't be so out of balance in the air. And I think it's gonna be really good because there's no wind. I like that. Now, oh. did you guys end up moving the uh, rear motors inwards? Huh? We did move the rear motors. Right. So we brought them in towards the center of the fuselage and upwards so that will kind of help stabilize it. Wow. So, so safe to say this is a lot more complicated of a build than the uh, flying ladder because the flying ladder was pretty effortless. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, they, I mean, we have a lot more distractions in the, oh, for the air right yeah. now with the basketball hoop on the front of it. So that's cool. <laughs> All right. So round two, Billy's going to fly it. Michael's going to chase it. And I'm going to check balls at it with them. Um, I give it a 0% chance I'm going to make a basket. <laughs> but we have Haley, so. Yeah, I mean, somebody's right. gonna Somebody get a basket has to in, get hopefully. Something. All right, you're gonna spot for uh, Billy? Yes. I'm gonna get over there. When you see the shadow come over us, duck. <laughs> <laughs> he did this to me. But whose idea was this anyways? Was it Noah's, Michael's? I have no idea, but it's, uh, it's a very interesting idea. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, Billy, I think everybody's ready. You ready for this? Here goes nothing. Alright. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Oh, Dude, it's flying. That looks nice. How's it feel, Billy? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> Take your time, don't worry. That is one of the craziest looking contraptions ever. Hold on. <laughs> Looks like it's very yaw sensitive. Yes. I gotta give VR, man. Yeah, you practice it out there, okay? Take your time. Oh, this, good pilot. this might be a little harder than we thought. Yeah, this looks pretty sketchy. So, now that we don't have wind, this is a little more of a challenge. Because I can't like point it into the wind and hold it. It's almost looking like uh, the, the tail's wanting to try to flop it's inward. Flipping, yes. I don't want to do that! Go! Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, that is scary. Oh, man. Oh, no, somebody took out one of your verticals. <laughs> okay, they're reloading. Yep. <laughs> I, I love how they're, like, going crazy over there, and the one that's flying the plane is, like, I'm trying Just, to stay as calm as a cucumber <laughs> right now. It is a lot of stick motion, um, but I'm getting a hang of it. I'm starting to feel it out a little bit to where I can kind of control it. Maybe. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder how long you can fly on the batteries. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know about all this. This is more fun to watch. <laughs> I'm sure it is really fun to watch. <laughs> I'm going to try to make an attempt to come from this angle. Yeah, maybe just try to keep it as slow as you can and close down the edge of the runway. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I love how we have these awesome plans and ideas. Yes. And when it comes time to do it, like, like like we did cornhole, right? We couldn't hit a single shot on the cornhole. Every time we bomb, we miss. Like it's it's a great idea. Horrible follow. Oh no, prop down. <laughs> Well, guys, um, this is what happens when you throw basketballs at planes. <laughs> I didn't have control of it at the last second. I think you were missing a prop. <laughs> the entire motor. <laughs> I love how Chadwick just runs over and like daintily goes, <laughs> wham. <laughs> well, that's that. Um, yeah. Good job. <laughs> All right, so safe to say, no one made a basket, but we all survived. We had a lot of fun. Yes. And do not try this at home. It's yeah. It's just too weird. It's crazy. But thanks so much for watching. Good job, Michael. Good job, Billy. Billy. Trust it. Yep. If you want to see other crazy projects like this, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell down below. Leave in the comments what you want to see next. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.